Hey guys, this is Jerry. I want to do this quick training video for you guys. A lot of people have approached me and asked me how uh, am I trading and winning 80% of my trades. Okay, so what I've done, I decided to do this short video uh, to just show you guys how I'm trading and how uh, it's 80 to 95% accurate. Okay, it's Saturday night. The market is closed, but I can still show you guys how um, I, my strategy in which I trade anywhere from two to five minute puts. Now understand that um, you want to test this on demo and you also want to watch out for the news whenever you are uh, making trades and stuff um, and any kind of strategy that you're using as well. But I'm going to show you how you can almost trade during the news and how you can almost win your trades with some good accuracy when it comes to trading my strategy. Okay, so I'm going to open up this currency pair here euro pound um, what we're going to do I'm just going to walk through this and show you guys uh, how this works and how it's been working for me and how you can damn near win every trade okay I'm going to show you something that's going to win something that's not going to win I'm going to show you the whole nine yards so here we go okay we're well just going to start here this indicator here is called uh, the Tim Scapper alert okay this in, what this indicator does is it alerts you and lets you know when the market is, is getting ready to change direction. And we'll just go over there here in a second. Um, it, um, it lets you know, meaning that the market, these are parabolic SAR. Let's go there for these are parabolic SAR. This purpose of scalp alert. This green is the bearish crossover. This red represents the bullish crossover. What I mean by crossover. Okay, uh, so the market is heading down with the parabolics. Okay, off of this signal here, this lets you know the market is going to change direction. And then you'll see an indicator comes up like this, meaning the bearish. Okay, now when the bearish comes up to me, it represents put, it means down. So when this indicator comes up, you will hear it alert you and give you like a ding sound, right? However, if the this is the first candlestick when it comes up. This is the second candlestick. All right. If this candlestick does not show up red because we're going down for a put, you don't take the trade. Okay. You do not take the trade because if it show up green, that means it's pushing back up. And this purple conforms it right, conform, confirms it right here because the purple indicator, which is a scapular, lets you know the market's going to change direction. So let's bounce over to this one right quick. I don't trade on this, but I've been practicing a strategy for this, which I won't cover because I don't have alerts set on this. Meaning, the market's going to change direction. Now here we go here. You hear a ding sound once the bullish, Jerry, Mega Money Maker, the bullish indicator shows up, okay? So what happens, what I do is, whenever I see this bullish, okay, I wait for the second candlestick. If it fires up green, I'm going to take the trade for upward motion. But as you see, an indicator shows up saying that the market going to change direction. So let's just say if I take this trade, one minute, two minutes, I lose the trade. Why did I lose the trade? Because this indicator pops up, let me know the market is going to change directions again. However, this indicator, it does not come on the stand all the time, but it will pop up and appear to let you know the market is going to change. So, okay, let's just say I took that one and lost. Okay, so we lost because you can't win them all, right? But let's just keep tracking here for a second. When this indicator comes up, it lets you know the direction is going to change. Look at this. Look at all the changes here. You can almost take a five minute put on this. However, I'm going to train you guys on these. The bearish and the bullish. Alright? So basically, here we go. So we get this alert here. The alert, and then you hear a ding sound. Alright, so remember when I said that if it opens up red on that second counter stick after the alert, I'm taking too many put. Here you go. It opens up red. Boom, you take too many put right there. One minute, two minutes, and you win the trade. Why did I win that trade? Because I came in here, I took the trade right here, and it ended right there at the top of the green. Okay? Because we know that on the red, it opens up at the top and ends at the bottom. On the green, it opens up at the bottom and closes at the top. So, this is the perfect trade. So, 
what I mean. Whenever this bearish comes up, you hear the alert and you hear a dinging sound, ding, right? If this candlestick kind of confirms it come up red, appears red in this candlestick, kind of I take a two minute put, right? A lot of people say, okay, why not take a five? You can take a two to five minute put. You open up here, anywhere under that within five minutes, over here, okay, over here, I'm sorry, you win, okay? But I prefer to take, go ahead and take me a quick two minute put. This is one minute, this is two minutes, and I win, and I stop trading. That's it. The next thing I worry for is for this indicator here that pops up. This is the scalper alert. Let me know, oh, the market ready to change. I'm gonna be watching the market really closely. Watch for the change. Ding, the bear, the bullish comes up. Ding, okay, do I take the trade? No, I don't, because this in, this next candlestick is not showing green. Meaning this, whenever you have the green one show up here, indicator up here, I'm taking a put. So the candlestick has to open up red. So in that case with the red candlestick, when the red indicator up here, which is the bullish, going upward, I want to see green on the first candlestick after this indicator shows up. If it's not green, I don't take the trade because green means up. So if it opens up red, I don't take the trade. That's how my trades are accurate, okay? I want to show you my indicators to so get a complete understanding here, okay? First of all, I'll leave, let you know, these two indicators here, Jerry, Mega Money, Bearish and Bullish, they are customized and you can't get them. The only way you can get these indicators are through me. I have to send you these indicators to install in your studies because these what I had created my personal indicators I had created with a low alert on them to alert me to let me know the direction when the market change okay but the bottom SARs which are the red dots here they are inside the indicators the Tim Scap alert is the purple one that's inside the indicators so all of these work together but they're no good without these alerts okay so here we go here direction ready to change Ding, you get a ding sound. First kind of stick, that's a dot, open up green, you don't take the trade. That's, you don't take it. I don't care, you're gonna win, but you don't take it. You want it to open up red. That's why I'm accurate. It's like, just super accurate with this. If it don't open up red, you don't take the trade. Would it have one, two to five minutes? Yes, it would have. However, I'm looking for down, mean put, it has to open up red. Let's go again. Okay. Okay, this one indicates that the more market ready to change here. Purple shows up. Ding. Next candlestick. Then open up green. I don't take the trade. Sorry. That's why I'm accurate with these trades. Okay. Market ready to change over. Ding. Candlestick open up. Green. Sorry. Don't take the trade because it didn't open up red. Guys, this is idiot proof. Over here, market going down. We would have won. Ding. Okay. Ding. I'm sorry. This is the scalper alert. Let no market in chain. Opens up ding. Fire up. Boom. Candlestick green. I'm taking the trade. One minute, two minute. That's a winner. Okay. I mean, you can't get any accurate than this. You can sit here all day long when the market is open. You can watch this and you'll see this will be on point. Here we go here. Ding. Guess what? It opened up green. I don't take the trade. It has to open up red. This candlestick here for me to take the trade. This is my alert. Represents the bullish. Mean down. Mean put. If the candlestick don't open up red to confirm that, I won't take the trade. Moving along. Scalp alert. Let me know the market may chain. But there is no alert on the purple now. The alerts are all on the purple, the red, and the green. So then you hear a ding sound right now it fires up ding this is going up strong next kind of stick open up green here i take the trade one minute two minutes did i win yes i did win because i took the trade down here at the bottom when it first show up with this second dot one dot two dot the second dot confirms if it shows up green i take the trade because what i'm doing i'm watching my screen watching my charts but you only take when you hit an alert sound all right, so that's a winner. Come over here again. You hear the ding sound for down. It opened up green. I don't take the trade. Remember, we only want to confirm it when it, the bearish shows up. 
The next candlestick has to open up red, meaning put for down. If it don't open up red, you don't, you do not take the trade. So let's go over some more here. Let's go. Here we go again. Direction ready to change. This shows up. Bearish up. Dean, you got one. You got the first candlestick. Take a two minute put. One minute, two minute. Put. That's a winner. I mean, guys, this can't get any easier. I can't explain it no better than that. You know, we can go with this all day, all night long. Here we go here. Dean, candlestick over the red. You don't take the trade. Why? Because we're looking for a green candlestick to open up. Because this bullish represents upward motion. If it if it's red, I'm not taking the trade. It has to be green going up. It has to be red going down. Here's another example. I don't take the trade because it didn't show up. It's one, two. It didn't show up red. All right. So let's go a little further here. Uh, four minutes left here. Here we go again. All right. We hear a ding sound. Opens up red. Take the trade right there. One minute, two minutes. Boom. I want to trade because it's below when I uh, my entry point. This is my entry point up top here. Okay. Remember, this kind of stick, this indicator represents put, mean down, mean red. Opens up red, I take it at the beginning, entering at the beginning of the candlestick, firing up. Here, close, I won. All right, so we're going to go a little further here. Got three minutes left here. Just want to show you guys, you know, here it is again. If it don't open up red, we don't take the trade. Just let you know the market ready to change directions. It was steady going down. This one came that you know is going to come up eventually. Here we go again. Right? Next kind of stick. Not green. I don't take the trade. Here we go again. Kind of stick red. I take the trade one minute, two minutes. It's look like that's going to be a tie on that one. Okay? So basically, guys, look, I'm going to sum it up. You know, I'll show you this all day, all night. This alert, come on. Ding. Two minute put. One minute, two minutes, I win a trade. Once again, this is a good two to five minute trade. It's going to win every time. Uh, just watch the news. And you know, you guys, if you guys want this, you guys want me to train you one-on-one -on -one coaching, you know, I can do that. You know, but, you know, time is money. But we can make it happen. All right? So thank you guys. Thank you guys for your time. I hope you enjoyed this quick uh, tutorial on how to trade with my indicators and how to use my strategy. Thanks. Bye.